Reading scientific journals about health, beauty, personal development, and animals is one of my cup of teas, and I love sharing what I learn here in my channel. Please note that research is constantly changing. I did make every effort to include the latest studies. However, since this publication, there may be new scientific research that was unable to be included in this video. If you wish to deep dive into the topic, you can check out my sources posted in the description box below. Please consider subscribing. Your support means a lot to me. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention recommends increasing our vegetable consumption because only less than 10% of the population consume the daily recommended vegetable intake of 2 to 3 cups. Vegetables are high in vitamins and minerals. They are also packed with fiber, which increases your feeling of satiety. In fact, in February 2015, the Annals of Internal Medicine published a study stating that daily consumption of 30 grams of fiber effectively helps with weight loss, much like a more complex diet does. Also, in March 2014, the National Library of Medicine published a one-year randomized controlled trial on its website in which researchers agree that higher consumption of food energy from vegetables may promote a greater short-term weight loss. Scientific data may be limited, but here is a list of 10 vegetables that are great for weight loss. First in the list is carrots. Carrots have the highest amount of pectin of all the vegetables, particularly 0.8 grams of pectin per 100 grams of carrots. Pectin is a soluble fiber present in fruits and vegetables that can form a gel when dissolved in water. A clinical trial was conducted wherein 9 of these individuals were given 15 grams of pectin for 2 days. The results showed slower gastric emptying, thereby reducing the feeling of hunger and increasing satiety. This data was supported by another trial conducted on 32 overweight individuals wherein foods containing pectin in gel form resulted in a slight increase in satiety and a reduction in energy intake. Second in the list is chicory root. Chicory root is from the Perino herbaceous plant belonging to dandelion family, Asteraceae. Chicory is characterized by bright blue flowers, which can rarely be pink or white. Numerous varieties are grown for salad leaves, such as chicans or endive. But ground chicory root is used in baking or as a coffee alternative. Chicory root contains the prebiotic called inulin, particularly around 68 grams of inulin for every 100 grams of fresh chicory roots. This makes it one of the best food sources of prebiotics. Inulin is also a soluble fiber that can effectively suppress hunger and regulate food intake when taken with low-calorie foods. A study involving 40 women also showed that daily consumption of 16 grams of inulin-type fructans for one week during the morning can suppress appetite and decrease food intake at lunchtime. Also, a study involving 125 obese adult participants showed that an inulin-containing snack bar effectively decreased food intake, appetite, and hunger over a period of 12 weeks. Correspondingly, a clinical trial involving 21 overweight but healthy participants showed that adding inulin in food products can slightly increase resting energy expenditure and decrease appetite. Lastly, a study with 44 pre-diabetic individuals showed that taking inulin for 18 weeks helps with weight loss more than taking a plant fiber called cellulose. Third is broccoli. Broccoli is a good source of chromium, with one cup of cooked broccoli containing 22 micrograms of chromium, nearly fulfilling the daily recommended intake. Chromium is a mineral that helps with the regulation of insulin function and blood sugar in the body. Supplements of chromium picolinate significantly enhanced blood glucose control and impeded weight gain in 37 individuals with type 2 diabetes. Meanwhile, Two meta-analyses of 20 clinical trials showed a slight body weight reduction, around 0.5 to 1 kg from taking chromium. However, the evidence was found to be weak and the weight loss may not be clinically significant. On the other hand, broccoli is still a great source of dietary fiber. Every 100 grams of broccoli contains 2.6 grams of dietary fiber, more than 50% of which is soluble. 
The fourth vegetable that is good for weight loss is white kidney bean. White kidney beans are a variant of Phaseolus vulgaris or the common bean. They contain an enzyme called a amylase blocker that reportedly inhibits starch digestion and breakdown. It also contains phytohemagglutinin, which is a lactin that can be toxic for humans in huge amounts. However, low amounts can work to suppress appetite. A trial involving 60 overweight participants showed that taking 445 milligrams of white kidney bean extract supplement daily for 30 days before a carb-loaded meal has significantly reduced fat mass, body mass index, body weight, fatty tissue thickness, and thigh, hip, and waist sizes while sustaining lean body mass. Additionally, in a study involving 100 overweight individuals, another dietary supplement incorporating white kidney bean extract was taken before meals along with a calorie-restricted diet for three months effectively reduced weight. Moreover, 73% of the 49 participants that continually took the supplement for 12 more weeks along with a non-restrictive diet successfully maintained their weight. There is limited evidence supporting the efficacy of white kidney bean extract for weight loss. The clinical trials conducted on this topic were small, and those that tested commercial extracts were sponsored by the companies manufacturing them. Another vegetable that is great for weight loss is bitter gourd. Due to its high fiber and low calorie content, bitter gourd can be incorporated into a weight loss diet. Each serving of bitter gourd, 94 grams, contains around 2 grams of fiber. According to a study, taking 4.8 grams of bitter gourd extract capsule daily results in significant belly fat reduction. After 7 weeks, the waist circumference of participants reduced by an average of 1.3 cm. Similarly, a study with rats being fed a high-fat diet showed that bitter gourd extract helped in reducing body weight than a placebo. However, it's worth noting that high-dose bitter gourd supplements were used in these studies. We need more data on whether or not incorporating bitter gourd in your diet has the same weight loss benefits. Sixth in the list is watercress. This is one of the earliest known leaf vegetables in the cabbage family that's consumed by humans. Among all the vegetables, watercress has the least amount of calories, 4 calories per cup, according to myfodata.com. The American Journal of Clinical Nutrition published a study wherein researchers concluded that calorie intake increase equates almost exactly to the average weight change. Arugula is the seventh vegetable in the list. Arugula is a dark leafy vegetable that tastes peppery and mildly spicy. It is a common salad ingredient and is a good source of vitamin K, folate, potassium, and calcium. One cup of arugula only contains 5 calories. Beef in the list is lettuce. This annual leaf vegetable is considered high volume food. This means that it contains a lot of air or water. Despite containing a small amount of calories, small studies have found that high volume foods can help suppress hunger. Since hunger is the main factor in sticking to a diet, replacing less filling foods with filling foods that contain a similar amount of calories is an effective weight loss strategy. According to myfodata.com, among all the vegetables, lettuce contains the most amount of water, up to 96%. Also, one cup of lettuce contains only 5 calories. Celery is also good for weight loss. Among the vegetables that contain the most amount of water, celery is second in the list. Make sure to choose certified organic ones because celery is the most contaminated vegetable according to the analysis of 89,000 produce pesticide tests conducted by the Environmental Working Group. And last but not the least, chili pepper. Chili pepper is a nitrate vegetable that's indigenous to South and North America but it's biologically considered a fruit. Studies have been conducted on chili pepper's ability to boost metabolism and fat burning. This is attributed to capsaicin, an active compound in chili peppers that increases energy expenditure, which is described as the number of calories your body burns in a day. It also boosts the breakdown of body fat into fuel. 
Also, chili peppers promote weight loss by suppressing appetite and hunger. The International Journal of Obesity published a study stating that taking capsaicin before meals reduced subsequent fat and calorie intake. If you find this video informative, please give it a thumbs up and share with your friends. Please consider subscribing. Your support means a lot to me. You may also want to hit the notification bell so that you'll get notified whenever I upload a new video. Thanks for watching and stay safe.